First Corinthians 11 teaches us this. For, for what I received from the Lord, I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is for you to do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. And so it was at the last supper before Jesus died on the cross and rose victoriously over sin and death that he gave us teachings about how to find his strength in our lives to grow in his kind of love. And so we eat and drink in remembrance of him. We invite him to enter in his divine presence and power to enter into our hearts and minds and lives by eating this bread and drinking this cup in remembrance of him. And because this table doesn't belong to any denomination but to Jesus Christ, this meal is for any believer who puts their faith in Christ and wants to sincerely follow him. Come and eat and drink of Jesus and find nourishment and spiritual strength. Let's pray. Our loving, loving Heavenly Father, we remember Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead. We also remember that you, as our risen Christ, led and empowered your church to thrive in the midst of persecution and challenges. Holy Spirit, help us to live with your kind of love. Come upon us so that we might treat others as David treated Saul, better than we get treated. And be, we be assigned to others that you are real in this kind of love that we share in perfect. We ask this in Jesus' strong name. Amen. And so it was while celebrating the Passover, he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples. And in the same way after supper, he said, this cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this whatever you drink it in remembrance of me. So we're going to have two stations, one on either side. When you are ready, feel free to come forward. Take a piece of bread, dip it into the grape juice, and eat and drink in remembrance of Jesus.
For the bread we have eaten, for the cup we have tasted, for the forgiveness of sins and new life we have received, we give you thanks and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, keep on working within us and amongst us to remove fear and to replace it with faith. And help us to grow not in vengeance or violence, but in love and mercy, even as you worked in David's heart so long ago. Meanwhile, God, we continue to pray for our world that is so filled with violence and hate and conflict. We pray for peace. We pray for those who are coming from the Halloween storms down in Quebec and the Maritimes. We pray for our government leaders, federally, provincially, and municipally, that you would guide them to your wisdom. We continue to pray for our negotiations going on, uh, for contracts with teachers and, and, and our schools. And we pray that as this all gets worked out, that everyone would be able to work together and that the, the schools and the teachers, the principals and the support workers would all work together to help prepare the next generation for life. Meanwhile, God, we continue to pray for the ministries of our church, our friendship club, the Sunday schools, youth groups, kids club, and friendship club. We thank you for the planning of next year's summer camps that have already been begun. And we pray that you would be at work in that too. Meanwhile, God, we think of those who are dealing with sicknesses. We continue to pray for Pat Daly as he's going through some treatment. Jim Cooper is at CE Hospital and for Bill Milliken. We thank you for his improvements even though he was still in the hospital. We also pray for Ryan as they're trying to adjust his medication to help him get better. And we continue to think of those who are mourning the loss of loved ones in particular. We heard about this three-year-old that was murdered out west, and an old neighbor from many years ago, Jim Monroe, who has passed away. God, for all of these situations and so many others that weigh heavy upon our hearts, we lift them to you now in silent prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, O oh God, for hearing. Answer according to your will, power, and might, we ask in Jesus' strong name. Amen. At this time, we're going to close our service by singing our benediction as printed on the screen in our book. <laughs> Thank you.